Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Abrams again, and this is kind of a long story. This is my third try at trying to get it under eight minutes. So today I'm going to read Charlie the Caterpillar. At the end of the story, I want you to figure out what makes Charlie a hero, because in my opinion, he is a hero. So, here we go. Charlie the Caterpillar by John Boyce. Once, one day, a bright and sunny day, Charlie the Caterpillar was born. The world was very, very big to Charlie because he was very, very small because he was just born. Yes. Charlie soon found out how delicious green things tasted. As he was nibbling on a blade of grass, he could hear the wind whistling and the birds singing. He smiled and he was glad to be alive. Charlie decided to set out and see the world, so he looked to the left, and he looked to the right, and then he went straight ahead. You're going to hear those lines again, so see if you can say them with me. Soon, Charlie saw two monkeys. Ah, I said, Charlie, what are you doing? We're playing cards, they said. Oh, said Charlie, that sounds like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the monkeys. Why oh, yeah, not, Charlie? Because you're an ugly caterpillar, now get out of here. Charlie, for the first time in his young life, felt bad. He sighed, and he would have shrugged his shoulders if he had any. He looked to the oops, here it is. He looked to the left, and he looked to the right, and then he went where? straight ahead. Pretty soon, he saw two rabbits hopping around. Hi, said Charlie, what are you doing? We were playing tennis, he said. Oh, said Charlie, that looks like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the rabbits. Why not, asked Charlie, because it's an ugly caterpillar, and we don't play with ugly caterpillars. Now get out of here. Now, for the second time in his young life, Charlie felt very bad. His feelings were hurt. What is ugly, wondered Charlie. He didn't even know. He didn't feel ugly. So, he looked to them. And he looked to them, and then he went straight ahead. Just then, Charlie saw two mice playing miniature golf. These mice were so small, they had to play miniature golf. Hi, said Charlie, what are you doing? We were playing golf, he said. Oh, said Charlie, that really looks like fun. Can I play too? No, you can't, said the mice. Why not? asked Charlie. Because you're an ugly caterpillar and we don't play with ugly caterpillars. Now get out of here. Charlie, for the third time in his now not so young life, felt very, very bad. In fact, Charlie started to feel ugly. No one wanted to play with him. So Charlie looked to it and he looked to it and then he started to cry. Charlie wanted to be alone. He climbed up the tree and he snuggled up in a small branch. He felt a little cold. So he went like this, he went like that, and wiggled a little and wiggled a little. And before he knew it, he had spun himself a warm and wonderful cocoon. Charlie was very sad about that ugly business. Why can't I have a friend? He wondered. Charlie was so tired from making the cocoon that he decided to take a nap. Ooh, you know what season it is? Right here. Yeah, yeah. All the leaves are turning red and brown. Do you know what season it is here? Oh, no leaves, and there's snow on the ground. All of a sudden, snow began to fall and cover everything white. Winter had come, but Charlie was nice and warm in his comfortable cocoon. Charlie dreamed that he had a best friend, and then that they laughed and had fun together. After a while, the grass began to grow, the flowers began to bloom, and the birds began to have a party in the sky. Spring had come, and somehow Charlie knew it was time to wake up. He got on and stretched, and then, oh my, oh goodness, pop, pop. Charlie looked to the left, and he looked to the right, and oh, he had wings, beautiful wings. 
Try to become a beautiful butterfly. Charlie fluttered his wings and guess what? And he laughed as he soared past the birds having a party in the sky. Charlie was flying high when he came upon the monkeys who were still playing cards. Oh, please come play with us, begged the monkeys. Why? asked Charlie. Because you're a beautiful butterfly. No thanks, said Charlie, smiling. I gotta get out of here. Well, the monkeys were kind of sad. And they were actually miserable, so it's all right, Charlie. He did a couple of loop loops and then he came across the rabbits at their tennis game. Well, please, said the rabbits. Won't you come and play with us? Why? Because you're such a beautiful butterfly, they answered. Yeah, you're light, said Charlie. Now you gotta get out of here. And off he flew, leaving the rabbits looking very downhearted. So it's all right, but Charlie. He circled around for a while and he saw the mice playing in the golf. Please, please, please play with us. Why? asked Charlie. Because you're really such a beautiful butterfly. So, right, not today, said Charlie. I really have better things to do. Now I gotta get out of here. And off he soared, leaving the mice looking pitiful. So it's all right, Chuck Charlie. They all wanted to be his friend because now he was a beautiful butterfly. They didn't know that he was still the same Charlie the ugly caterpillar. They can't want to be my friends just because of my beautiful wings. They can't be real friends. Thought Charlie as he fluttered in the spring sunshine. Just then, Charlie heard some crying. It was Katie the caterpillar. Katie came closer. Why are you crying? He asked. Because no one will play with me. No one wants to be my friend. Cried Katie. Because I'm a caterpillar. I'll play with you, said Charlie, with a wink and a smile. I'll be your friend. You will, said Katie the caterpillar. Okay, then Charlie took Katie aside and told her all about becoming a butterfly. From that day on, Charlie and Katie played cards and tennis and even miniature golf together. They laughed and had a good time, just like in Charlie's dream. Katie was happy, and Charlie was very happy. He had finally found a friend, a real friend, and a best friend.